welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I personalized this awesome beach bestie spike that I got from 651 Vinyl. Now you may have seen some other beach spikes that have just the cup holder, but something that makes this one unique are two other holders. One for your sunglasses and a pocket for your cell phone. Now something that's also great about this is on the product page over at 651 Vinyl for this, there is an SVG that comes with all of the pieces that you need to wrap your Beach Bestie if you want to put a pattern vinyl on it like I've done here. So you're going to get five pieces in that SVG. You'll get this front piece, both side pieces, as well as the back piece. So what I did is I wrapped it with pattern vinyl and then I put a super cute mermaid decal on the front of it. Something also to know with this is it will hold most 20 ounce and 30 ounce tumblers as well as most cell phone sizes. Now if your cell phone's the size of a tablet, it probably won't fit in here, but it gives you a wide range of items that you could put in here. If you don't want to put a cup, you can put your car keys in here and hold your sunglasses and your phone. So many different things that you can do with it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to switch you over to my workstation so I can show you exactly how to put on all of these pieces and a little trick that I use to make sure that I'm going to make everything lined up perfectly. So let's hop on over there and I'll show you how. So to get started, I'm going to go through everything that you need to personalize your beach bestie. So I have a few things laid out here. You won't need all of them, primarily this, but I'm going to tell you why I have this cut out in just a second. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your beach bestie. You'll need a squeegee to transfer your vinyl onto your beach bestie. And then if you're going to cover the entire thing with a patterned vinyl or if you're just going to put a decal, I have all my pieces here cut out my patterned vinyl as well as the decal that I'm going to put on the front. But what I also have is I've cut each piece from that SVG that matches this in cardstock. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. I've put all of my transfer tape and I've layered my vinyl already, so that saves us a little bit of time. So what I do with the cardstock is I cut it out simply because I don't like messing things up. It's pretty foolproof, it fits perfectly on here, but sometimes it's a little tricky to get things straight. So if, as you can see, this piece here, this is the part that wraps around the front, and I'm not sure if you can see or not, but it does kind of have a little bit of a curve to the top here. If you've ever put anything on a round surface or a curved surface, you know that if it's perfectly straight, it's gonna buckle at the top. So that's why it has this curved surface here at the top. So what the reason I did this is because I like to kind of line it up to see where it's gonna go when I put my vinyl on. Just to give me an idea to make sure when I do put the vinyl, I'm gonna put it on straight and it's gonna go in the right place. So with this piece here, you can see that it wraps perfectly around the beach bestie and it comes pretty much to the edge on both sides. So here you can see that there's right here, it kind of dips down. So your vinyl is going to go pretty much to the edge on both sides. You don't have to do this. Like I said, I just like to, to make sure I know exactly where everything's going to go. So I know now when I put my vinyl on, it's going to go pretty much to the edge on both sides. So I can start at the edge and it'll finish over here as opposed to trying to start in the middle and then being off on one side. So I also have the other pieces here. You can see how they kind of fit on just, you know, just as a sample, just so you get an idea of what's left around the border of the pattern, where it should be centered, just an idea of where everything goes. These pieces here, they're a little larger on the top. They kind of fan out at the top to go on the sides here. Personalizing these are, I mean, the possibilities are really endless. They come in a bunch of different colors and you can, you know, you can leave it solid colored like this and just put a decal on it. You can cover it with patterned vinyl and just do that. You can cover it in patterned vinyl with a decal like I'm going to do. Um, these would be great for trips. If you're going on a trip to the beach, let's say with your girlfriends or a family trip, make these and give everybody one and it's great because it really holds everything that you need to take to the beach that you don't want a bunch of sand in, like your drink or your phone. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put on these pattern pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this piece on first. Like I said, I've already put all of my transfer tape on all of my pattern pieces here. So all I got to do is pull that off and stick it on. 
So with this, my pattern is a mermaid pattern. So I know that I'm going to be putting these on the right way because of the shape and the direction of the scales. So I know if I put this piece on facing this way and I put this piece on this way, I'll know that it's different and backwards. So that's the nice part with something like this. Other patterns won't matter. You'll just have to make sure you're finding the right shape and the right curve for your piece. So let's go ahead and put this piece on here. You're gonna have a little bit of a border left over around the whole thing, which is okay because if you pick something with a coordinating color or pattern, it's gonna look really nice. So put that on there, use our squeegee from 651. Squeegee that on, burnish it pretty well so it sticks, you don't get any air pockets or bubbles that and then we're gonna slowly peel back our transfer tape and there you go so it looks really nice on there I mean the the mermaid pattern looks super cute with the teal color of the beach spike now I'm gonna go ahead and put this long piece on that covers the whole front like I said it's not too difficult um, if there was anything that was a little tricky, it's just making sure you have this facing the right direction. When I cut it, I cut it with the pattern, so I know that it's going to be facing in the right direction. So I like to start on this side with the sunglass loop. That way, if it goes a little crooked or it goes off, if you start from the other way, it can get stuck under there. So if you start from this side, it's going to be pretty easy to line it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and since I used my cardstock to see where it's gonna kind of fall, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up pretty much with the edge there. Just wrap it around. It's gonna come right to the edge on the other side, just like that. So, I mean, it's pretty easy. As long as you have it facing the right direction and you have that curve on the right part. Go ahead and burnish it down there and then we'll take our transfer tape off, put the sides and then the decal on. This pattern vinyl is from 651 as well and it is permanent so you don't need to seal it with anything. It's going to stick on there pretty well. And since you, this probably won't be in the water, it'll probably be in the sand or on the shore, if you have a grassy or you know gravelly shore, it will stick in there. Um, so really, you don't have to worry about sealing it because this vinyl is not going to come off here. Get that pushed down, peel our transfer tape off. Just like that. It's getting nice and scaly. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put these two sides on. These are the easy parts, they're small. Like I said, they're they're a little wider at the top. They kind of they kind of fan out at the top to match the angle. So with this, since mine's pattern, again, it will make sense which direction it goes on. Just gonna put it there, leave a little bit of a border around it. Transfer tape, the corner of it there. I could see these being used for beach weddings, for vacations, for girls trips to the lake. You don't have to take it to the beach. You could take it to the lake. You could take it anywhere you want. The nice part is, is it holds a lot of different things. You know, it'll hold your cup, it'll hold your sunglasses, it'll hold your phone. It'll hold your wallet, your key, you know, all those things that usually get lost somewhere at the beach. Or so you don't get sand in them or you don't lose them at the bottom of your bag. It's a nice little companion for the beach or the lake or wherever you go and use it. And it's not too big, it's not bulky, so you can, you know, throw it in your bag. Take it out when you get there and set it up and you're ready to go. I know for me, sand is like 
the one thing that I don't like about the beach. Up here in Wisconsin, I don't really have to worry about going to the beach and sand or anything like that. But the one thing I don't like the most is sand on my cup. If my cup is wet on the outside for any reason and you just set it down and you pick it up, it's covered with sand. I'm just not a fan of that. So the decal I'm putting on, it's a mermaid themed decal. I've gone ahead and I've already layered it to save some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this transfer tape off and I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right on there. And then after that, we will be done. So in just a couple minutes, we've gone ahead and we've gotten our pattern vinyl on and our decal and our beach bestie is done and personalized. Something like this would make a great gift for friends weekends at the beach, friends weekends at the lake. If you have a new couple that are getting married and they are going on their honeymoon to somewhere with a beach or anywhere that they can stick this into, Make them something cute that says Mr. and Mrs. Make them for your kiddos when they go to the beach so they don't get sand on their cup. Some kids are not a fan of sand. I'm not a fan of sand. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.